Hi. I actually asked this question on Monday without the microphone and then I sort of intimate. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I asked this question on Monday and somebody asked it yesterday, but some of these people may not have heard your wonderful answer about what went into the screen. What, what, I'm sorry. What went into the big screen. What went into the big screen. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, a lot of emotion. <laughs> I had, uh, when they wrote that, I thought I got really excited because as Anna, I was putting a damper on all my feelings and not, you know, really keeping everything contained. Uh, and I suddenly got this opportunity to be human and to express myself. So it was really exciting. It was like nine months of not being able to like, smile or be sad <laughs> so finally I was able to just let it all out in that one moment and it was really great it's very it was a great moment for me personally <laughs> to just let it all out <laughs> selfish hi uh, my question was just about like how familiar were you with the original V or how much have you researched that for your role like the role of Diana what kind of influence there was uh, I knew of the original, I mean, who didn't or doesn't? It was uh, a really scary, creepy show. And I remember watching it as a kid, uh, seeing reruns of it when I was probably seven or eight or something and being completely freaked out. I don't remember too many specifics or lines or scenes. I remember, of course, the rodent eating and I remember like the, there was like some machine <clears throat> that Diana would put her human that she was trying to like convert and there was like this like shock therapy or something that was creepy and of course who doesn't remember that lizard birthing scene where like one comes out you know normal and the other one's full lizard or like maybe one has like the lizard tongue or something totally creepy <laughs> so I knew of the show I didn't go back and watch rewatch it I had enough of it in me to remember it but I thought it was really cool that they were redoing it and I wanted to be a part of it. Hi. Hi. Um, I heard that some of the people from the original V are going to be doing parts or cameos. Is that true? Yes. Uh, we have Jane Badler coming on the show. She's doing at least four or six episodes with us. We've, we've just started shooting with her. It was a very surreal moment to see her on set. Thanks. My question was actually also about the original V. Um, so my other question is, do you think you'll get to eat a rodent? Get to what? Eat a rodent. Okay, so. <laughs> I got this question on um, Friday, and I wasn't sure I could say something, so I didn't. I was very elusive, and since then I've emailed Scott Rosenbaumer, showrunner, and asked how much I could tell you guys and I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> and it was not a fun day at work. <laughs> and it tasted great. <laughs> like chicken, just like chicken. But we do it in a very different way. You'll love it. <laughs> uh, you probably get this question a lot, but how do you play these evil characters? Because you're obviously a very nice person. And as Anna, you're basically knocking your daughter around, breaking her legs, punching her in the face. It's a shame, isn't it? I know. It's, yeah. Well, thanks, first of all, for saying I'm a nice person. You don't really know me that but, well. <laughs> but seriously, how do you um, get prepared for these parts? Good. Yeah, it was a tough one when I was like, when I realized I got the role of a head alien. I was like, how does one prepare to be an alien? Um, I guess I have some experience because I'm from Brazil. So, being an alien. Ha ha ha, that was funny. <laughs> Crack myself up on a Sunday morning. Um, I don't know what happened with Anna where I just knew what I wanted to do. It was one of those rare moments as an actor where you read a script, you're so excited by it, and you know what you want, and you just try it, and it worked. Um, I got some tweaking from uh, Scott Peters, our original showrunner, and, and who wrote the pilot, and when I auditioned for it, he was like, you're doing great, but do less this, more this. You know, He's like, I don't want her to be an alien. I don't want her to be robotic and weird, and I just want her to be human. And in playing human, you were a little weird. 
you know, like if you're trying to be a human. <laughs> so that's sort of, you know, in active thoughts, they always tell you, like, if you're trying to play drunk, just play sober, and you come off drunk because you're being really, like, redundant. <laughs> Um, so it's sort of the same thing, and that was my way into Anna, was to be as sweet and human and nurturing as possible. And what turns out is the opposite. And then the meanness, you know, that just comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> when I read those scripts, I'm like, really? You really want me to do that? The season finale, is it okay for spoilers? Did everybody watch the last season here? Okay. The, 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 me killing Val? Like, when I read that, I was like, you guys, everybody's gonna hate me. <laughs> so, but somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> Thanks for all of you showing up, by the way. It's a pretty big crowd for a Sunday morning. I appreciate that. It's very nice. Hey. Thank you. Um, I've got a question about the uh, sets when you're actually filming. How, how much of what we see at home is, do you see as a, uh, an actress? Very little. I see almost nothing. What, uh, what you guys are seeing as far as the ships go and the, the special effects and all that stuff, we see nothing. I mean, even lights on things um, and on the ships, it's all, it's all special effects. So it's all green screen. So when we're shooting my executive suite or overlooking New York City, um, all of that is of one big green room. We have like a little X so that we all have the same eye line, um, so we're not looking in different directions. Uh, and that's it. That's actually pretty amazing because yeah. it looks great. It, thanks. We have a great we, uh, system called the Zeus system that was invented for the show by Zoic Studios. And what it does is it's monitors that are on set with us that show the actual room. So if we're totally confused, which I often am, and don't know where the hell I am, I step around to where the director is, and on a screen, like on a TV screen, I will see somebody standing. I ask, you know, if I stand in or somebody to go where I'm standing, and you can see the whole room and where I am and where the walls are and where the doorways are, which is kind of important when you're exiting a room to know where the door is. <laughs> Many times I've walked through walls on set. <laughs> virtual walls. <laughs> it's pretty funny for whoever's watching. <laughs> or, or I've walked off a ledge. And I'm just like standing in the New York City skyline, like on top of a building. So it's, it's challenging, but it's fun. I was, one, I was wondering if you could comment on why it needed a rating success and Firefly wasn't. Why what is a success? Y.B. Is, oh. is a rating success and Firefly oh, yeah. wasn't. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. I mean, who knows what, what's going to reach people. I mean, I think with V, you have kind of a built-in audience because the show is a very well-known show. Um, and I think ABC did a great job standing behind the show and getting it out there and really getting it out to people. I mean, unfortunately, they put us on a break after four episodes. <laughs> which was hard, um, and our numbers dropped, of course, because, you know, we were gone for three months, but people came back, which was nice. Um, and I think that with Firefly, had it just stuck out a little longer, you know, had Fox just kept it on the air a little bit, a little bit longer, it might have come back, too. So, who knows? <laughs>